Marvelous Bible lesson is taken from Jeremiah 18th chapter The word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying Arise and go down to the potter's house and there I will cause thee to hear my words Then I went down to the potter's house and behold he wrought a work on the wheels and the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter so he made it again another vessel i seemed good to the potter to make it then the word of the lord came to me saying o house of israel cannot i do with you as this potter said the lord behold as the clay is in the potter's hand so are ye in mine hand o house of israel at what instant i shall speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to pluck up and to pull down and to destroy it if that nation against whom i have pronounced turn from their evil i will repent of the evil that i thought to do unto them and at what instant i shall speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to build and to plant it if it do evil in my sight that it obey not my voice then i will repent of the good wherewith i said i would benefit them now therefore go to go go to speak to the men of juda and to the inhabitants of jerusalem saying thus say the lord behold i frame evil against you and devise a device against you return e now every one from his evil way and make your ways and your doings good and they said there is no hope but we will work after our own devices and we will every one do the imagination of his evil heart therefore thus said the lord ask ye now among the heathen who hath heard such things the virgin of israel hath done a very horrible thing will a man leave the snow of lebanon which cometh from the rock of the field or shall the cold flower waters that come from another place be forsaken because my people had forgotten me they have burned incense to vanity and they have caused them to stumble in their ways from the ancient paths to walk in paths in a way not cast up to make their land desolate and a perpetual hissing every one that passes thereby shall be astonished and wag his head i will scatter them as with an east wind before the enemy i will shoo them the back and nor the face in the day of their calamity then said they come and let us devise devise devices against jeremiah for the law shall shall not perish from the priest nor counsel from the wise nor the word from the prophet come and let us smite him with the 
tongue and let us not give heed to any of his words give heed to me o lord and hear again to the voice of them that contend with me shall he will be recompensed for good for they have digged a pit for my soul remember that i stood before thee to speak good for them and to turn away thy wrath from them therefore deliver up their children to the famine and pour out their blood by the force of the sword and let their wives be bereaved of their children and be widows uh, widows and let their men be put to death let their young men be slain by the sword in battle let a cry be heard from their houses when thou shalt bring a troop suddenly upon them for they have digged a pit to take me and hid snares for my feet it lord thou knowest all their counsel against me to slay me forgive not their iniquity neither blot out their sin from thy sight but let them be overthrown before thee deal thus with them in the time of thine anger here ends the bible lesson